Dear students, Namaste. We are listening to the audio lessons of Grade Eight, Unit One. Listen to the telephone conversation between the receptionist and Pemba Lama. ABC Research Center. Hello, it's Pemba Lama here. Um, could I speak to Amir Khan, please? Oh, just a moment. I'll see if he's in. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. He's uh, out at lunch. Can I help you at all? Um, could you ask him to call me today, please? Preferably before 4 p.m. Yes. Can I take your number, please? Yes. It's zero one six six nine two two four zero two. So that's zero one six six nine two two four zero two. Yes. Okay, Mr. Lama. I'll get Amir Khan to call you as soon as he comes back to the office. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Grade Eight, Unit Two. Listen about the play The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. Certainly, one of my favorite books is The Merchant of Venice, and it's by William Shakespeare. It is believed to have been written between 1596 and 1598. It is classified as a comedy. It is a love story between Bassanio and Portia. When Bassanio asks for money, Antonio borrows it from Shylock upon the condition that if he is unable to repay the money at the specified date, Shylock may take a pound of Antonio's flesh. Then he gives it to his friend Antonio. Unfortunately, he cannot repay it on time. Shylock asks for flesh. But he is accused of criminal activity because of the nature of the contract. Finally, Shylock is punished. I like this play very much. Grade Eight, Unit Three. Listen to Ashma and Pemba talking about their holiday. Hello, Ashma. When did you arrive? I came this morning. Well, how did you enjoy the holiday? Oh, I had a splendid time. We went to Pokhara and enjoyed it immensely. Boating, climbing, and swimming. Where did you spend your holiday? You are a lucky lady. I have been in the village all the time, helping my father on the farm. Not much holiday, I can tell you. I'm really glad to get back to school again. I'm not. I wish we could have holidays all year round. I think school is an awful bore. Do you have the photographs of your holiday? Yes, I do. Can I have a look? Of course. Here you are. Oh. I like this photo very much. It looks as if you are about to fly. Could you give me this photo? I want to keep it with me. I'm sorry, but I'll develop the next copy and I'll give it to you tomorrow. Pemba, my brother is waiting for me. I have to go now. See you later. Bye. Bye. Grade eight, unit four. Listen to the biography of a famous Nepali cricketer, Basanta Rigmi. Basanta Regmi was born in Vairahova on 6 April 1986. He is a famous Nepali cricketer. He is a left-handed batsman and left-arm orthodox spin bowler. He has played in many international games. He has played more than 40 times for the Nepal national cricket team. In 2002, he played in his first under-19 World Cup in New Zealand. In February 2010, he represented Nepal in Division Five of the World Cricket League, which was held in Nepal. In 2012, in the ICC World Cricket League Division Four, he became the man of the series by taking 21 wickets. Now that's really surprising. Now the batsmen have to cross out here. Grade Eight, Unit Five. Listen to the conversation about the festival Gai Jatra. Sir, in which month does the festival of Gai Jatra fall? It is generally falls in the month of Bhadra. Which community of people mostly celebrate this festival? People from Newa community mostly celebrate it, but these days people of other communities also enthusiastically join to have fun and make jokes. How did the cow become a part of this festival? In Hinduism, cow is regarded as the most pious of all the domestic animals. People believe that the cow will help in a dead person's journey to heaven who began the tradition of gai jatra and what led him to do so it was king pratap malla who started gai jatra when he lost his son his wife went into shock he was very sad to see the condition of his beloved queen he made several efforts to bring smiles to her face 
but all in vain. When people used masks and danced before her with humor and sarcasm, the queen laughed. Later, Gaijatra became a tradition. Grade 8, Unit 6. Listen to Rekha and Robin talking about the parts of a computer. Hi, Robin. Hi, Rekha. Where are you coming from? I'm from my aunt's. You look so happy today. Yes, I am really happy today. Really? Can I know the reason? Of course. You know, my dad has bought me a computer. Oh, that's exciting. Rekha, I can do lots of things in my computer. Can you watch movies on it? Why not? I can even play games in it. I can have my project work report typed in it. What else can you do with it? I can draw pictures with it. I can have my documents shaped in it. Oh, interesting. What does it look like? Because it's combination of various parts, it's difficult to say what it looks like. But its monitor looks like a television. It displays the result of our command. We can watch movie on it and... What about other parts? We can give command with the keyboard and the mouse. CPU makes all the calculation. So, it's the brain of the computer. The hard drive, optical drive and flash drive are the storage devices of the computer. Rekha, come to have a look at my computer in the evening, okay? I'm really excited to see it. I will come at 5 p.m. Bye. Bye. Grade 8, Unit 7. Listen to radio news about the President of United States of America. Good evening. This is Radio Nepal. The news in English is read by Padam Vishwakarma. American President Barack Obama has told American TV network ABC that he wants to return to education when he leaves the presidency. President Obama lectured at the University of Chicago's Love School for 12 years before he joined the U.S. Senate. His appearance with First Lady Michelle Obama on daytime talk show The View is seen as an appeal to women voters. Grade 8, Unit 8. Listen to a doctor advising his patient. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Please sit down. How can I help you? I have a pain in my eyes, doctor. Pain in eyes? What type of pain? I feel a pain when I read books and tears come down. How long is it since you started suffering from this? For the past six months. And you are coming to me so late. I thought it was not a serious problem. Not serious? That's why you are getting worse with it. Do you read in electric light or candlelight? Both. Because when electricity is cut up, I use kerosene lamps or candles. Do you often eat green vegetables? I hate eating green vegetables. Are they any good? Green vegetables supply you with vitamin A, which is very necessary to keep your eyesight sharp. Wash your eyes with clean water. Eat a piece of carrot daily and your eyes will be okay. Wouldn't you suggest any medicine for this? Take my advice as a medicine and follow it. Then you will be all right. You can go now. Thank you, doctor. Grade 8, Unit 9. Listen to the facts about kangaroos. Australia is the home of kangaroos, where they move freely across the grassy plains. They are nearly two meters tall and weigh about 65 kilograms. They stand on their great, long, powerful hind legs. They use these for jumping, and the males use them for kicking when they fight other males to decide who is king. Close to the kangaroo's body are small front legs with very long, sharp claws. These are for finding and holding food. Kangaroos live in herds of 12 to 50 animals. They all know each other well. When something frightens them, they all jump away together. They can jump 8 meters and go at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour. A kangaroo is a marsupial. A baby kangaroo lives inside its mother for only 30 to 40 days. When it is born, it is only 2 centimeters long, with eyes and ears closed, no fur, and no hind legs. This little creature climbs up its mother's body and into her pouch, sucking milk and developing. Grade 8, Unit 10. Listen to the weather forecast of five development regions. 
Good evening. It's 7:15 p.m. This is the weather forecast for the next 24 hours. Heavy rain is expected in the eastern region of the country. It might be cloudy all the day there with plenty of rain. In the central region of the country, there will be sunshine and normally hot. In the western region, it can be cloudy and occasionally rain. Moving to the midwestern and far western region of the country, there will be sunshine and very hot. In the western hills, there will be mostly dry and windy. The maximum and minimum temperatures recorded at five regions yesterday were Dhankuta maximum 27.22 degree Celsius, minimum 18.3 degree Celsius, rainfall 14.04 mm. Kathmandu maximum 28.22 degree Celsius, minimum 20.3 degree Celsius, no rainfall. Pokhara maximum 25.22 degree Celsius, minimum 18.3 degree Celsius, rainfall 12.02 mm. Brandranagar maximum 34.22 degree Celsius, minimum 23.3 degree Celsius, no rainfall. Dipal maximum 36.22 degree Celsius, minimum 28.3 degree Celsius, no rainfall. That's all for today. Grade 8, Unit 11. Listen to Pemba suggesting Binod about the importance of games. Binod, I always find you reading books. I like reading books, Pema. Don't you like to play games? If I play games, I don't get enough time to read. You should play for some time. If you are always occupied with books, your mind becomes dull. Games refresh your mind. We can refresh our minds in other ways too. Yes, it can be done in other ways too, but games improve your health. My health is good. I don't have to play games. Your health may be good now, but games are necessary to maintain it. Then I'll try to play some games. Please do it. Grade eight, Unit twelve. Listen to the information about the far western part of Nepal. Welcome to the far western part of Nepal. First, you should cross Chisapani Bridge over the Karnali River, the border of Bardia and Kailali. The bridge is the second of its kind in Asia. After crossing Chisapani Bridge, you could enter the land of Kailali District, a door district for beautiful far western region, that is Sundar Sudur Pashchim. From Atteria, a city of Kailali, you could go to Dhangadi, headquarters of Kailali District, Kanchanpur. Or hilly areas of a far western part of Nepal, that is Dadeldhura, Baitadi, Darchula, Doti, Acham, Bazhang, and Bajura. Kailali and Kanchanpur are in Tarai Belt, whereas others remaining district of far western region are in hilly belt. The main attractions for tourism in far western part are Tikapur Park, Ghodagodi Lake, Karnali River in Kailali, Suklafata Wildlife Reserve, Dodhara Chandani Belly Breeze in Kanchanpur, Ammargadi Fort in Dadeldhura, Khaptar National Park, Sileswari Temple, Seti River in Doti Khalanga, Tapoban, Tinkar, Api Himal, Bias Rishi Himal, Nampa Himal in Baitadi and so on. Dasai, Tihar, Gaura Parba, Fairs, that is various Jatras or Melas are common festivals and Deuda is a famous song and dance in far western region. Grade 8 Unit 13 Listen to the morning of an old man. Now I am in my 80s. I am no more a young man. Physically and mentally I am very weak and feeble. Now I have neither any beauty nor any dream in my life. My future matters a little significance. At this moment I can only enjoy in my memories of the younghood. In my younghood I had robust physique, beautiful dreams, hopeful life and so on. I used to enjoy with my friends and to be among them. I was totally carefree at the time. I was a strong man. I had my vigor, beauty and zeal. I had dreamy time and gorgeous life. 
I used to think I could control everything, even time and youth. But now time has changed everything. Time is most powerful in the world. It can change everything. Great Age Unit 14. Listen to the various castes or ethnic groups of Nepal. There are 126 castes or ethnic groups reported in Nepal in the census 2011. Chetri is the largest caste or ethnic group having 16.6% of the total population. Similarly, Brahman constitutes the second largest group of population. It covers 12.2% of the total population. Magar is the third largest caste or ethnic group which covers 7.1% of total population. Likewise, Tharu and Tamang constitute 6.6% and 5.8% population respectively. 5% people are Newa. Kami and Musalman cover 4.8% and 4.4% population respectively. Similarly, there are 4% Yadav and 2.3% Rai people. Grade 8, Unit 15. Listen about Taru's New Year, Magi. What's the main festival in your culture, Sukhaya? It's Magi. How is it celebrated? Well, it is mainly celebrated for two days. On the last evening of the month of Push, Tharu people prepare varieties of dishes like pork, fish, dhikri, a food item made of rice flour, and drink chang and wine. They spend the whole night dancing and singing. Their dance is called Maghauta Nach and the song is called Dhamar. It's interesting. Please tell me more about it. Okay. Early in the morning, on the first day of the month of Magh, they go to nearby rivers, ponds, to have a bath. Then, they return to their houses, touch pulse, dal, rice, chamal, and salt kept on Nanglo and get blessing from their elders. Can you tell me why it is called the main festival of Tharuj? Of course, it is celebrated as New Year. New fiscal year begins from the 1st of Magh. Family members select a new head, Gharmuli, of the family. On this day, brothers separate from each other and divide their properties if they want to get separated. Similarly, the villagers select Baraghar, a leader of village, Chaukidar, watchman, Kulapani Chaudhari, irrigation head, etc within the first week of Magh. Who are the special guests in this festival? Married daughters. They are offered the rice, pulse, money, etc. kept on Nanglo as a present which is called Nisrao. Thank you Shukaya for explaining to me about the main festival observed in your culture. It's my pleasure. Grade 8, Unit 16. Listen to Tina Green conducting the Great Quiz Show. Bad luck to our last competitor, but he'll be getting a t-shirt. This is Tina Green and the Great Quiz Show. Remember, if you want to take part, just ring 0044-1944372. That's 044 for the UK, 1- 944372. Ask for Tina Green. Then we'll ring you back at our expense. And our next competitor is on the line from Johnson in northwest Nepal. Are you there, Jyoti? Yes, I'm here. Hello there. How are you feeling? Nervous, but okay. Ready with your answers? I hope so. Right. Here is your first question. Which pop star was behind Band-Aid and gave so much help to Ethiopia? It was Bob Geldof. Right. Well done. Keep it up with the next question. This is easy. Name two songs written by the Beatles. Yellow Submarine and... And... Yes, come on. I know you'll know another. 
yesterday. That's it. Now on to number three. What's the name of the great rock in the centre of Australia? That's easy for me. I've got an Australian friend. It's Ayers Rock. Right again. You are halfway to winning a new Sony shortwave radio and DVD player. Ready for number four? It's scientific. Which is the second lightest gas in the world? The lightest is hydrogen, so it isn't that. I think it's helium. Helium, it is. <laughs> On to number five. When did Elvis Presley die? Nineteen. Yes, go on. Nineteen seventy. Yes, but more. You've one second left. Nineteen seventy-seven. Well done. <laughs> And your final question: Who was the first person to fly in an aeroplane? Be careful now. Oliver Wright. I read about him last year. And that makes you the winner of a brand new radio. Thank you, Jyoti, for taking part. Grade eight, unit seventeen. Listen to the various conversations for identifying the situations. What's the engine like? It's 1,000 cc and it seems in good condition. Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? No, it's empty. Do you mind if I join you? No, please do. How do you read those books? It's called Braille. There are raised dots. Its letter has a different arrangement. I fill them with my fingers. Have you seen this? No. What's happened? I just read this. Isn't it dreadful? Do you think this one suits me? It's quite nice, but perhaps you need a brighter one. It's lovely to see you. Mm, it's lovely to be here at last. Could I help you? Oh, thank you. I can't manage when the traffic is heavy. You were great. Those sirs were brilliant. You were really good too. That spiking was terrific. Grade eight, unit eighteen. Listen to the instructions on how to prepare tea. First of all, collect the materials, i.e., pot, gas, water, milk, tea leaves, sugar, etc., for preparing tea. Light the fire on the gas stove. Put the pan on the gas stove. Pour the water in the pan. It depends on how many cups of tea you are preparing. Let the water be boiled. Put the sugar in the boiled water. Generally, you can put one spoon of sugar for a cup of water, or add or reduce as per your taste. Put the tea leaves in the boiled water. You can put half spoon of tea leaves for three glasses of water, or depends on your choice for the colour and taste of tea. After some time, put the milk into the boiled water. You can put a glass of milk. In three glasses of water, put the powder or pieces of ginger if you want. Again, boil it for a while. Now you can put off the gas. Serve the tea, putting in the glasses. Clean the pots, kitchen, and keep the things in their right places. Thank you for listening to the Grade Eight audio lessons. Namaste and goodbye.